Hey guys, it's Mark from North of Seven Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are at Marl Lake, uh, which is connected to Palmerston Lake. And we're just kind of going through the narrows here. And it's not a very big lake, uh, but so we'll probably fish all of it, to be honest with you. And uh, I need to put some fish in the boat here. Uh, so this is Lake New Lake number 21 this year. And basically, I uh, I missed a five pounder on Palmerston, a legit five, and uh, I'm having some trouble coping with that. And I have a tournament tomorrow, so basically, how you get your confidence back is you start cracking some some fish. And uh, after I lost that five pounder, whew, am I just shifting through mud here? After I lost that five pounder, I, uh, sorry, I was trying to tell if that's a fish or not. After I lost that five pounder, I've uh, definitely lost my groove. Kicking up some silt here. I'm just gonna lift her up for this little bit. A little sandbar or something that we're on here in Marl, Marl Lake. <laughs> I wanna call it Marl Bank. But Morrow Bank is a small village. All right. Um, yeah, hopefully Morrow Lake is, is productive. I, I have to get my confidence back. More, more importantly than discovering a new lake is getting some confidence because if I come in to the tournament tomorrow feeling like a loser, then obviously I'm not going to do well. Like confidence is king in fishing. Absolutely. So hopefully Morrow Lake is a, is a good lake. Hopefully we crack into some five pounders. I always say like crack into five pounders. But I, don't, I do not catch a lot. There are a lot of people out there that catch way bigger bass than I do. I just catch more fish than about anyone else. But I mean, that's why I throw a wacky worm. I mean, I'm just looking for active fish. I'm not going to sit there with a jig for 20 minutes and I'll lay down. Anyways, I digress. We're at Morrow Lake off of Palmerston Lake in the Plevna area. So it's a little deeper now. Let's get to catching. All right, we're gonna get our first fish from Mara Lake off this lay down. Start at the base. There's one. Feels good. <clears throat> Not too good, but good enough. <clears throat> All right, our first 12 incher. There we go. Marl Lake monster here. That's a giant. Note to self, don't boat flip this guy. He's over three, well over three. Let him go. Just inside the mouth. Oh, he's like three and a half. Not even. Oh, healthy Mara Lake monster. That's another good one. Nah, he's not nearly as big. He's gotta be two and change though. Alright, there we go. Healthy two and a quarter, two and a half. There we go. Super shallow. Yeah, good two pounder.
Tasty. Oh, didn't look that big. Is it a smallmouth? I feel like it's a smallmouth, but there's no way that should be a smallmouth. It can't be. Well, it could be. It's a smallmouth. Healthy little guy, pound and a half. Her. There we go. Beauty. Nice little Marrow Lake Smalley. Oh. Alright. A little 12 inch, 13. There we go. A pound and a quarter. Well, guys, that's it for Marrow Lake there. Um. Not really disappointed. I, I can only fish one half of the lake uh, up and down um, because there's other people there that are slowly flipping the, all the trees and it's not a very big lake and they didn't really want to cut in front of them. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, maybe it was a, uh, a good idea to give them that half. I mean, if I was in a tournament, I'd like, give them enough space and then I would cut them off. <laughs> Um, but I'm not, so no big deal. Anyways, guys, that's my leg. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if it's better than Palmerston yet. I gotta go back to Palmerston and finish off that video, so we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.